October 3rd, 1863. The year that is drawing towards its close has been filled with the blessings of fruitful fields and healthful skies. To these bounties, which are so constantly enjoyed that we are prone to forget the source from which they come, others have been added, which are of so extraordinary a nature that they cannot fail to penetrate and soften even the heart, which is habitually insensible to the ever-watchful providence of Almighty God. In the midst of a civil war of unequaled magnitude and severity, which has sometimes seemed to foreign states to invite and provoke their aggression, peace has been preserved with all nations. Order has been maintained. The laws have been respected and obeyed, and harmony has prevailed everywhere except in the theater of military conflict, while that theater has been greatly contracted by advancing armies and navies of the Union. Needful diversions of wealth and strength from the fields of peaceful industry to the national defense have not arrested the plow, the shuttle, nor the ship. The axe has enlarged the borders of our settlements and the mines, as well as iron, coal, and precious metals have yielded even more abundantly than heretofore. Population has steadily increased. Notwithstanding the waste that has been made in the camp, the siege, and the battlefield, and the country Rejoicing in the consciousness of augmented strength and vigor is permitted to expect continuance of years with large increase of freedom. No human counsel hath devised, nor hath any mortal hand worked out these great things. They are the gracious gifts of the Most High God, who, while dealing with us in anger for our sins, hath nevertheless remembered mercy. It hath seemed to me fit and proper that they should be solemnly, reverently, and gratefully acknowledged as with one heart and one voice by the whole American people. I do therefore invite my fellow citizens in every part of the United States, and also those who are at sea and those who are sojourning in foreign lands, to set apart and observe the last Thursday of November as a day of thanksgiving and praise to our beneficent Father who dwelleth in the heavens. And I recommend to them that while they offer up ascriptions justly due to him for such singular deliverances and blessings, they do also with humble penitence for our national perverseness and disobedience, commend to his tender care all those who have become orphans, widows, mourners of sufferers in the lamentable civil strife which has unavoidably been engaged, and fervently implore the interposition of the Almighty Hand to heal the wounds of the nation and to restore it as soon as may be consistent with the divine purposes to the full enjoyment of peace, harmony, tranquility, and union. תקועים בתל אביב לגרוש, גשם מתקרב, וכמו השמש דחה גם תקוותי. קובי כבר היה תשוש, אז עצרנו טרם, לקח אותנו עד לחוף אכזיב. מתוך בנדנה אדומה, ניגנתי ברכות עם קובי בלוז, כן. מגבים, מכים, אחת ושתיים, אנחנו אוחזים ידיים לצלילי הממוך. 